Hello learners, I Dr. Abha Sharma from GD Goenka University welcome you all to the NIOA studios. Today we are going to discuss on devising and planning an inquiry. The presentation is sequenced as follows. We will discuss on what is an inquiry, then devising and planning inquiry, the independent variables, control variables and dependent variables. Now we will discuss on what is an inquiry. Inquiry based learning is an educational strategy in which students follow methods and practices similar to those of professional scientists in order to construct knowledge. It can be defined as a process of discovering new causal relations with the learner formulating hypotheses and testing them by conducting experiments and or, or making observations. Often it is viewed as an approach to solving problems and involves the application of several problem solving skills. Inquiry based learning emphasizes active participation and learners responsibility for discovering knowledge that is new to the learner. In this process students often carry out a self directed partly inductive and partly deductive learning process by doing experiments to investigate the relations for at least one set of dependent and independent variables. It should be added that in the context of this study we are focusing on learners. What is a new knowledge to them is not in most cases new knowledge to the world even if the approach can be flexibly used by scientists in making their discoveries of new knowledge. Devising and planning the inquiry. These two processes need considerable experience in executing an inquiry. Younger children are interested in seeing the things happen and hardly have patience to wait for planning. This happens because when you raise question and ready with hypothesis with you, you are eager to get the evidences and for devising and planning inquiry one needs to think about variables that play important role in the process of inquiry. In all there are three categories of variables, first is the independent variable, second is the control variable and the third one is the dependent variable. The independent variable as is exactly what is it sounds like. It is a variable that stands alone and it is not changed by the other variables you are trying to measure. For example, someone's age might be an independent variable. Other factors such as what they eat, how much they go to school, how much television they watch aren't going to change a person's age. In fact, when you are looking for some kind of relationship between variables, you are trying to see if the independent variable cause some kind of change in the other variable or the dependent variables. To investigate difference between two things or conditions, you change these variables. The difference between things can be compared on the basis of some property. For example, if we want to investigate heat absorption capacity of color with respect to certain type of fabric, then the color is the independent variable. It will not change during the experiment. Move to the control variable. The control variable in the experimental element which is constant and unchanged throughout the course of the investigation. The control variable strongly influences the experimental results and it is held constant during the experiment. In order to test the relative relationship of the dependent and the independent variables, the control variable itself is not of primary interest to the experimenter. 
a variable in an experiment which is held constant in order to assess the relationship between the other two variables is the control variable. A control variable is the one element that is not changed throughout an experiment because its unchanging state allows the relationship between the other two variables being tested to be better understood. Essentially, a control variables is what is kept the same throughout the experiment. It is not of primary concern in the experimental outcome. Any change in a control variable in an experiment would in invalidate the correlation of dependent variables to the independent variable, thus skewing the results. Control variables is to investigate heat observation capacity of the color. You should not change some variable during the study. For example, you will not change the type of cloth duration for which the heat is supplied temperature of the source will also be kept constant throughout the investigation. The dependent variable just like an independent variable, a dependent variable is exactly what it sounds like. It is something that depends on the other factors. For example, a test score could be dependent variable because it could change the depending on several factors such as how much you studied, how much sleep you go the night before you took the test or even how hungry you were when you took it. Usually when you are looking for a relationship between two things, you are trying to find out what makes the dependent variable change the way it does. This variable gets affected as you change the independent variable. That is why it is called dependent variable. In this example, heat absorption capacity is a dependent variable as it depends upon the type of cloth, temperature of the source, duration for which the heat is provided, etc. All these variables need to be considered to devise a fair or unbiased test for collecting the evidences. When children are eager to conduct investigation, they need to think about control variables in order to compare independent variables. Learners also need to think about what to measure or what is to be compared in advance. Similarly, they also need to decide about procedure for measuring dependent variable with appropriate degree of accuracy. Now, important is that how the facilitators can assist learners to play a role of investigator and acquire different types of skills by practicing these skills as beginners as follows. To sense problem that can be investigated by them, to plan investigations systematically and with patience, to reflect on their thinking and their practices to review action plan and develop involved plan. On the basis of above discussion, you can list some objective specification as follows. Learners will be able to decide about different variables to be taken into account to conduct investigation, decide about devising equipment and material needed for inquiry, select about procedure for controlling variables, develop procedure to measure dependent variable accurately, etc. Now, you can devise the task for inviting learners to develop capabilities of devising and planning. This is the task 1. Zuri wants to study the difference between cotton, silk, wool and synthetic fibers so that she can select fabric for stitching a dress for winter season. What is the independent variable in this investigation? What are the control variables in this investigation? What is the dependent variable in this investigation? And identify the quantities you need to measure for this investigation. 
task 2 Ranu's family lives in a village where medicinal plants grow in plenty during monsoon. There is one variety of plant that has flowers with greenish yellow petals. As days pass, petals color changes to reddish yellow, then shade changes to red, then to dark red before flower weather outs. Ranu wants to test hypothesis. Shade of petal changes because pH value of material of petal cell changes. Make a list of material and procedure needed to test this hypothesis. Thank you so very much for listening.